question we're trying to answer is what characteristics of vomiting in children who have just had a head injury might predict intracranial injury in those kids? What we found was that the probability of having intracranial bleeding increased with increasing numbers of vomiting episodes, especially with four or more vomiting episodes. We also found that this increased with other high-risk factors, including if the child had signs of a skull fracture or altered level of consciousness. Importantly, we also found that the timing of the first vomiting episode and the patient age were not predictors of intracranial injury. The takeaway message for parents is that vomiting is an important sign to look for in children who have hit their heads, but especially increased numbers of vomiting episodes. And we would want to see those children in the emergency department should that occur.